All right, YouTube, quick video for you guys, man. Settings. Settings in game for MLB The Show 23. There's a couple new things, a couple things you gotta make sure you change um, if you want a better experience. At least in, these are just what I use. This is what I like. So if you go here, right? Back out main menu, go to top right, settings. Boom, go to gameplay first. Gameplay style, I have it on competitive. It's automatically set there for online play. Don't have to worry about that. Hitting and pitching difficulty, this is whatever. This is just for CPU stuff, um, but you can obviously change that. I didn't touch any of that, but I will, I will turn off new feature tips. Let's go to uh, decisions in general. If you hit right trigger, for me at least i didn't touch any of this except i did change auto defensive shift oh i did last game i just didn't save but i am going to turn that off i don't want an auto shift on uh, i don't want that in the game so uh, i don't like the auto shift i'm turning that off i want it to be mandatory or mandatory manual if i do it rules uh didn't touch any of this you can leave that this is important guys general miscellaneous cpu pitch delay put on faster it starts on normal put it on faster it makes the pitchers in moments and offline stuff pitch quicker to you so important post game auto save on sure uh i didn't touch any of this at all so you can leave that and that is for general that's all you need to see let's go to control base running interface i didn't touch any of this i went all the way down i, I have my pci the pci i use guys is the is just the bat pci anchors preset it resets yeah so i didn't touch any of this so it resets every batter the pci anchor if you if you say if i'm using mike trout He's batting lead off and I PCI anchor up and in next that bat for like Jeter who's after him as an example. His would be reset. It doesn't stay. You could change it. So game inning, blah, blah, blah. I like it on batter. Anchor dots, I have them on. It's whatever. It's personal preference. For the PCI, obviously I like to have it on. I use just the bat PCI. No inner, no outer. I use cyan. This is all preference, guys. All of the PCI is preference. Uh, I like the, and the color especially. It's just what you like to see. I like blue, light blue, so I picked that. And I have it at 50% 50, 50 transparency because I don't want it to get too much in my way of hitting. And sometimes I'll even drop it to 40 if it gets in my way. Um, no fade out, guest pitch off, vibration on. Yeah, I mean, that's just preference again. Defense, I pitch with pinpoint. I recommend you guys all do it as well. I'll probably do a, a, a tutorial for that. Maybe, maybe not. Pitching ball marker. I have it on pitch trail. I like to see the pitch trail the whole time. I don't want it to fade away. I just like this one preference once again. Uh, I didn't touch that button accuracy. You, I, you guys, you got to use button accuracy. It's the uh, it's the best thing. So accuracy chevrons. Um, sure, I guess have that on. I don't think that. Yeah, I guess that matters. Throw canceling. Have this on guys. Put throw canceling on because if you're in a rundown, right? If you need or if you want to fake to one base and throw to another, you need to have this on. I don't know how you play really without this on, to be honest. I like the position indicator being the drifting ball, but there is the track ball. Uh, it, actually, I don't think I changed that. Maybe I did, but I think it was default on the drifting ball. They added last year this like blue trail thing. I don't really like it as much. I like the ball. Dive, jump, it's two button. Um, it's pressing RB will trigger a jump. Pressing RT will trigger a dive. That's like basic generic usual stuff so i just left that control uh i did not touch any of this for player lock because i'm not doing any road to the show stuff yet so we'll get there and um yeah that's it for control camera i this is just what i do again preference but i do think that any variation of strike zone is the the most competitive camera angle to hit on so strike zone you know strike zone strike zone two strike zone three or strike zone high i personally think the best two are strike zone and strike zone high i pitch on strike zone high that just helps me pitch better. It's all personal preference. You could pitch from behind the pitcher camera angle if you'd like. If you do that, I recommend the outfield camera angle. That's one I like. I like dynamic in, view, in play view offense so I could see the hitter, pimp jobs, and all these things. I like it. That's my personal preference. Again, in play view defense. I have it on high. When the ball is hit, you get a real big zoom out. It allows you to see the field in its entirety. You know, you can get good reads on things. That's what I like. It's just personal preference. I, I didn't touch the, the camera movements at all, so... If you guys want to do that, you can do that. I didn't touch it. Display. Um, I did not touch any of this, I don't believe. And um, except for off the wall ribbon, I do put this on. I like to see, it gives you like a carom indicator. It tells you where the ball's going to bounce off the wall and where it's going to go so you can get in a good position. I like that. So yeah, that's the only thing I put on, which is uh, cool. And that's it so far for gameplay settings. Uh, there's a couple other things to do real quick. Presentation, fast play. It's, I like this on in CPU games, and I'm not sure if online, but I know with CPU, it skips all like that stuff that makes the game take forever, cutscenes, blah, blah, blah. Great. Batter walk up. This is a big one. I turn this off. So for offline play only, you skip the walk ups of the hitters. So you can just keep things going. It's great for pitchers' moments, hitting moments. You don't have to watch them all walk up and skip it. You can just go right through it. This is a way to streamline and, and speed up the process of doing moments. It's fast play, batter walk up off, and having pitchers on faster makes it fly audio and video i have done this this is my setting i like 
lower cra crowd volume all the way up eventually maybe not but i like sound effects all the way up and everything else off if you like commentary and and i have music off too for copyright but if you like commentary in the pa that's up to you i think it gets a little bit annoying and it, it gets kind of weird when i'm doing commentary over a video and i hear this in my head and it gets a lot it, it becomes a lot plus the commentary they say like the same eight things over and over again so i just turn that off personally everything else i didn't i didn't touch and that's pretty much it guys that's all of my most important settings i didn't touch anything else that's it if you guys have any questions let me know leave it in the comment section below i'll try and help you out appreciate y'all watching catch you guys next time peace